What are we doing? So, uh, AWA is hosting Sailor Moon Day here in Atlanta at Piedmont Park. Sailor Moon? Yeah. Do you like Sailor Moon? I mean, it's all right. It was only my favorite show ever growing up. So yeah, we're here, we're meeting our friend Elise, and then we're gonna check it out. It's no Dragon Ball Z, but... <laughs> In the name of the moon, I will punish you! <laughs> It doesn't come with batteries, does it? Um, I don't think so. Pretty sure we have some AAA batteries now. Oh, we do. <laughs> this is what Mara Jade wore when she wasn't being an assassin. Fuzzy pants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you're supposed to leave it in that. Hmm? You're supposed to leave it in that. Oh, is it? <laughs> Don't break it. <laughs> I need a 
ones from the raw man. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to just pull it out. Come on, Emperor's hand. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna watch the whole thing. There you go. Wow. That is heavy duty. All right, let's get some batteries. Okay. Actually, show off the handle. <laughs> Is that your marriage aid pose? <laughs> <laughs> we can compare it to a, a book cover or something. Oh. Oh. Hey. It was just the wrong button. There we go. Cool. Looks good in, in the video. It looks like a lightsaber. It even has like a glow. Yeah. Now I'm gonna have to learn some spinny tricks. <laughs> you wanna have a go? <laughs> I need to get It really is, yeah. It's heavy too. Like the double bladed one is almost like this big. Yeah. Little lady hands gonna be able to handle this? Cause my little lady hands are- <laughs> My what? Your little lady hands. My little lady hands. I, I'm making a joke about me and my little lady hands. <laughs> I'll do some some farmer walks to improve my <laughs> grip. grip strength. <laughs> I like it though. Yeah. So since we gave you a little sneak peek of the marriage lightsaber that I got for my costume, I thought I'd show you most of the other stuff. I think I've got everything I need right now the actual suit is being tailored, but I'll give you guys a look. I've just got the stuff laid out on the bed right now. Uh, got some gloves. I call them my OJ gloves. Um, this blaster I got off of Etsy. I think it's 3D printed, but it looks really cool. And actually most of the stuff I got off of Etsy. This piece here is going to be kind of like the scarf shawl thing that she has around her neck and it's actually long enough to where if I sorry <laughs> so it's long enough to where if I wear it like this and kind of just safety pin it in the back it almost doubles as a cape which is cool, and that was really cheap off Etsy. Then we got this shoulder strap thingy. This is all real leather, so it was really nice, handmade. Um, the only issue with this is the leather is a little bit bent in weird places, so I'll have to kind of play around with that while I'm wearing it. Um, and then with that, I got a belt, whoops, this belt that has like a little clasp thingy there and it's got a couple of little pouches in it and this is also made out of real leather. And what's cool is it has a holster that my blaster fits into. Okay, so yeah, the blaster goes in there, and then that just snaps shut. So, 
that's pretty cool. And then these are probably my favorite part. Um, she has these like knee pads and in some pictures it looks like a knee and a shin piece. And I've actually found these on eBay. They're like motorcycle shin guards, but they also go up over the knee and they are really bendy. So hopefully I shouldn't have any issues walking, but they look really cool and they just have these little velcro straps that go around your leg so I've got those and then of course we've got the goggles i won't wear these i'll probably either have them like around my neck or just um i'll either have them around my neck or up kind of like a headband and as far as shoes i'm not sure what i'm gonna wear yet but i've got a million pairs of black boots so i've got quite a few options to choose from hopefully just a pair of comfy black shoes so yeah i'm really excited for that costume it's gonna be a lot um I've only put all of this on once so far, and actually it doesn't look like a lot, but once you have everything on, it kind of feels like you're wearing a lot of stuff. And unfortunately, the one piece just has like a zipper going up the back, so if I'm wearing it all day, if I have to go to the bathroom, I have to pretty much take everything off. So I'll have to have a bathroom buddy <laughs> to help me get in and out of my costume which will of course be Alex or one of my girlfriends. Yeah I'm really excited about Dragon Con. The closer it gets to Labor Day weekend the more exciting it gets and the more we just kind of like try to think up last minute costumes. Like I think um, I'm gonna do a Battlegrounds costume with some of the guys. It's gonna be really easy it's just a blue shirt, jeans, like a utility belt, and boots, and I think we'll probably hold up signs that say something like Pachinki or like, you know, this the city names of the cities that you go to in the game just so people know what we're costuming as. Also random, I got a new phone and I got the seven plus and it's so big like look how big my hand is compared to my phone it's crazy phone background's cool it's phasma and some stormtroopers back there anyways it's just it's weird because it's so huge and i have one of these little pop out pieces so it makes it easier to hold your phone. I may have talked about this in a vlog before, but it really does make a difference, especially if you're like laying in bed and you don't want to drop your phone on your face. This helps out. Plus it works as a stand too. I'm actually filming this Thursday night and I'm hoping to get this edited and up by tomorrow. Um, or today if you're watching it, and I managed to do it. We've got two friends coming from out of town tomorrow, so uh, I think we're gonna go to Wild Heaven Brewery, and then we might go to, there's like a barbecue blues, bluegrass festival, something, some kind of barbecue festival going on in Decatur on Saturday, so we might go to that. So hopefully I'll have some stuff to vlog for next week. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Sorry I haven't been putting out any vlogs. Uh, things have just been kind of crazy in our personal lives. Um, but yeah. Oh, if you don't normally watch the Q and A's each week, I think they go up on Saturdays every week. Um, I'm in those now. <laughs> uh, I was in the last one and we filmed one today and 
we just decided from now on that I'm gonna be in those uh, Q&A's with Alex and hopefully continue to incorporate me in some other videos uh, just trying to be more involved more outwardly involved in the channel I guess so yeah pretty exciting <laughs>